Hello everyone, my name is William and I'm an application engineer for Go Engineer. Today I'm going to be talking about the surfacing tools in Arctic Studio 18. So what I have here is a 3D scan of a brake caliper. We use the Arctic Space Spider to scan this and as you can see it's a very nice detailed scan. So there's two types of surfaces you can create in Arctic Studio. The first is freeform surfaces. So let's say you were reverse engineering this part mechanically and you needed to obtain a surface for a very organic area like this one here. For that I can create a freeform surface and that's under the construct tab. You can click on freeform surface and select the area that you want to make a surface for. So I'm just getting a general selection for the area and I can always use the segmentation tool to increase my selection. And I can always add more data if I need to And once I have that, I can click on Fit Patch. And if I turn off the mesh, you can actually see that the software created a freeform surface. If you're looking to obtain a surface for the entire mesh, that's what we call an auto surface. The auto surface tool basically saran wraps the entire mesh in surface patches. And this type of surface can be used in CAD for a lot of different purposes. You can use it as a placeholder. Sometimes people use auto surfaces to create molds for parts but it's a very quick way to obtain a surface for your entire mesh. So the tool is right here. You can click on auto surface and there's a couple different options here. I like to have patch aggregation mode turned on because I feel it gives us the best results when we're doing an auto surface. Allow T nodes is good to have on for very organic shapes or parts that have a lot of curvature. It basically splits up the surface patches in a very specific way and that just helps the auto surface process. Because this scan is more on the complex side, I'm going to increase the patch factor all the way to 1.0. And basically that's going to give me the most accurate surface patches possible. Now I can click on fit auto surface. And depending on the complexity of your scan, this process could take a few minutes. And once that's done, you have a surface body for the entire mesh. I'll turn off the mesh so you can see the surface. And as you can see, the software generated surface patches along the entire mesh surface. And you also have it listed on your feature tree. From here, we can export this surface body into SolidWorks. You can right click on the auto surface, click export, export to SolidWorks. Now, depending on the amount of surface patches, this process could take a few minutes. And once that's done, you have a nice surface inside of SolidWorks. After the import, it's possible that you may have some faulty faces or some gaps on your surface. And to fix those, you can just right click on the imported surface and use import diagnostics to fix those issues. And if that doesn't work, you can always use the SOLIDWORKS surfacing tools to fix those issues. And that's an overview of the surfacing tools in Arctic Studio 18. Thank you for watching.